Hello everyone, John here again with uh, the Pink Prusa. This time I'm Prussia. This time I'm going to work. On, I've been working on one of my backers machines, and I had all the hardware, everything together. I really just been sitting on it because we went for some good electronics to show up. Right now, this is my Gen 6 board that came with my bot mill kit. So uh, I'm going to be ordering a ramp soon and installing that on one of these two machines. Depends on which ones work better with which. Uh, this machine is receiving the benefit of all, all my knowledge so far. This uh, frame is from SAE or American Size Thread. This has metric smooth rod from the uh, Perusa. Actually, I believe this might be American 516. It's not too sure. Either way, the, uh, the bushings I made out of PLA run perfectly fine on them. It doesn't really matter what size they are as long as the bushings run on them. And I printed those out myself right before my uh, hot end took another crap. That's where it was, and now it's gone. And now it's in that bag. And I am waiting for a Maker Gear one. So thank you, Maker Gear, for shipping so quickly. Moving on. Uh, I did wire these up parallel using a proper parallel port. Uh, Nick Lucking, one of the other backers, helped me uh, figure out how to get this thing wired up correctly. And uh, it's... This wire comes down and connects through all, all this uh, cabling uh, to this, one on top, one on bottom. I color coded them so they all match up, cut the cord. The cord's a little short because I had to uh, cut it down. It's not as long as the ones you get from other manufacturers like Ultimachine or Kazon. So I'm going to end up having to buy some uh, new wire and making some longer wires for that. I have a pretty awesome idea, and I'll let you guys know in the future what's going to happen with that. It involves taking this off the machine completely and using that Super Nintendo over there. Moving on, uh, so we got the power cord hooked up, USB hooked up right there. Uh, I do have the Y motor mounted. All this stuff is already locked in. All these nuts are tightened. The frame is tightened. The X axis, or sorry, the Z axis is all lined up, perfectly level. Using my super secret method, uh, I got my back fender, my front fender, all set and ready to go. So I want to show you real quick is the movement of the axes. That is both of them moving in conjunction with each other, perfectly fine. So my wiring job did not go to crap. And now let's go for the Y. And I actually have that plugged into the X, so it's running with X, but we know it works because it's running. And these are the motors I got from Bob Mill. I will be using Maker Gear, uh, Maker Gear pulleys or gears, however you want to call them. And I will construct my own bed and bed carriage, so the print bed itself and the uh, a good carriage out of uh, some plywood I have on hand shouldn't be a big deal so yeah I mean uh, I, I, I put all this together basically it was a loose frame when I started uh, this night and it's pretty much all here all I need to do is throw on the the <clears throat> the X motor mount which is all right here not a big deal and the idler which is somewhere else and I'll, I'll be set ready to go so it's a pretty good night. I'm going to be pushing on this this week. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them in the, uh, the space below or on my Kickstarter page. All right? Talk to you guys later.